guys welcome back so today I wanted to just do a quick little spring slash summer look for you guys I did get a new palette in the mail it's not new as in new to the market it's just new as in new to me now the palette I'm talking about is the C color juicy palette and I first saw this palette going up and down my Instagram timeline y'all know how I do <laughs> with checking out these different palettes and brands but I saw this on Instagram and I was like that's cute that's cute okay <laughs> first of all as you can see the packaging is just like super duper pretty it just screams spring and summer to me now this is a quote-unquote dupe palette I believe this is supposed to be duping Kylie's palette from the summer last year so that's kind of how long this palette has been around or the palette is supposed to be dupe and this is last summer's model okay but I thought the packaging was cute so I picked it up and so it's this beautiful yellow it has like the shiny writing you can see in orange with the little kind of I guess it's like a hot pink hot pink border I don't know if you can see that a hot pink drip so it's cute I like it <laughs> now I have purchased some other palettes from C color before I actually have about five or six palettes from them that I need to use you guys that are basically for the most part all dupe palettes but I'll get to those okay I'll get to them <laughs> but the palette for today is this palette this is what she looks like on the inside as you can see she does have a nice long mirror it does come with a plastic covering over the shadows which of course I ripped off oh and it just comes in a clear sleeve like this it doesn't have a matching box or a matching you know package it just comes in this cute little clear sleeve which I don't mind it's so much easier for me to just slide a palette out of a sleeve like that instead of trying to open the box with your nails and stuff. So I don't mind that. But this is what she looks like. Isn't she cute? So basically to me it really screams spring and summer. Now these are colors that I don't typically gravitate to because I feel like they're not going to show up well on my brown skin tone. But as you can see, the shades, the shadows, they are showing up. <laughs> now, what I will say about this palette is I did have to take some time to build up the shadows. Now, in my crease, I started out with this gorgeous shade here. It looks more like a brown, but it's really kind of an orangey brown shade, if that makes sense. So I started out with that in my crease and kind of blew it out. And then I deepened up my crease with this shade here. Now, if you'll notice, these colors do not have names. This palette doesn't have any names in it or on the back. On the back, there's just uh, the ingredients. It is cruelty-free if you care about that. Um, I can't see the shelf life. Y'all know I'm blind, so I'll put it somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, that's what the back of the palette looks like. So... I did go in with this color first, deepened it with this one. I did use this bright orange shimmer shadow on my lid, if you can see that. And I did use this in my inner corner. As you can see, I did have to dig a little bit to get that, but I used that in my inner corner. And I think it popped nicely. I just sprayed my brush just a bit and just wanted to create a very simple look with this palette just something that says spring not too crazy and intricate y'all know how I like to do with my cut creases and using 50 colors but not today I kept it simple okay so I did do that I did not use the black I purposely stayed away from the black just because I wanted to keep it light and airy and simple I didn't want to smoke it out you guys know once I start going into the black, I look like I'm going out to a nightclub, okay? <laughs> so I stayed away from the black. But what I will say is that the shadows, the pigment is there. It does show up. It does take some building up, okay? I'm not going to lie. It does take some building up. It's a little tardy to the party, but she does eventually show up. So I will give her that. Now this 
palette was $9.50 on the C Color website. I know they do sell their items on Amazon as well. I'm not sure if it's available on there. I'll check and see. But I got mine right from the C Color website. $9.50. Not too bad. I think the shipping might have been about three bucks or something. So it wasn't too, too pricey. Now, this is just a standard cardboard palette. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular or anything you know it has a decent weight to it but it's pretty lightweight and I really just think the packaging is super duper cute I love it so let me go ahead jump into some swatches for you and then we will move into this eye look Swatches pretty decently, not too bad. Some of the mattes are a little bit powdery, like this one here is a little bit powdery. But, and you know, you see the lighter shades, it's really just lighter shades, but they still show up. I think it swatches very nicely. Even that black that I didn't play around with today looks very nicely pigmented in the swatch. So, very, very pretty. I love this color story. Just swatching it really shows the theme of this palette, and I think it's so, so cute. So, you guys, my overall thoughts and first impression on this palette is I think that it's a really cute palette. I think it performed decently. Like I said, these shadows do take some building up, at least the ones that I used. To me, the shimmers don't have that super duper glistening pop like you might get from some other more expensive shimmers. But I think for the color story, it's very, very nice. I do like the pigmentation of the lid color that I used. I feel like this bright orange shimmer here that I did use on my lid has faded a little bit over time with me just sitting and talking and moving around and doing things so I wouldn't say that I believe this palette is going to have a lot of lasting power I did use my MAC soft ochre paint pot on my lid the crease colors look like they're staying pretty nicely but the bright orange that I put on my lid it looks like it is fading a bit over time so those are just my initial thoughts as far as the shadows in this palette go I love the color scheme I would like to play with it a bit more but just my initial thoughts mm, for $9.50 I think it's a decent enough palette at this point in time in this day and age I don't think that just because a palette is like 10 bucks that that's an excuse for it to not be nicely pigmented or for it to perform nicely because there are some brands some palettes out there that are really nicely pigmented and that do perform extremely well <coughs> profusion <laughs> but with that being said <laughs> I think it's a beautiful color story is it a must-have palette I don't think so not necessarily but I did have a lot of fun using it and I think that it does create a beautiful spring and summer look so if you'd like to see how I created this eye look that I have on today stay tuned because it's coming up next